Welcome to the Storycraft Society, everybody. My name is Garmin. This obviously is the channel, and we have spent the last 70 or 30 weeks, it feels like, working on this big, massive, ultra city terrain board that is semi-modular. So this week, we are finishing it. This is a fast intro because I'm diving into it. I've got my Black Magic Craft base coat, which is just a 50-50 mixture of matte Mod Podge and black acrylic craft paint. I've got a bunch of acrylic craft paints, and I'm going to knock this thing out. If you want to see an in-depth step-by-step process on how to do exactly the paint scheme that I'm doing right here, you can actually check out this video. I will flash it up on the screen. It's my how to build a gaming board video. But with that said, I'm ready to just dive into it and finish this version of this project up. I'm very excited. Let's jump into it. like I have been painting for like my whole lifetime times and so I need a break. So I'm going to be running to Walmart because I'm going to be getting little rubber feet for the bottom of the boards. All right? It's going to make it so that it doesn't slide so much on the table and also if the foam warps just a little bit it's not going to make them rock back and forth. So we have an Olivia, we have a Connor, and we have a B and we're going to Walmart. Bumpers, check. Next, we're going to go to Taco Bell for lunch. Sounds really good. And then uh, back to painting for 10 hours. All right, catch up with you soon. Painting montage, check. Board finished, check. I did a little Walmart trip in the middle because I couldn't paint anymore, check. And now we have a finished massive game board. I am so, so, so excited to start breaking down all the things that I can do with this in my games. So what we're gonna do for the back end of the episode, honestly, because I'm just really excited about it, is I'm gonna take all of these pieces and I'm gonna set up three scenes, three of my favorite scenes that I've come up with so far and I'm going to set those up for you and then show this thing off. So, for the first one, let's jump into it. Number one is going to be called the City of Canals because I have this awesome Frontline Gaming Mats water mat and I can set up my board so that I pull them apart a little bit in the center and that allows me to make 
a canal that runs through the center of the board. This will be perfect for making all kinds of interesting things happen like the pinch point with the bridge in the middle as well as separating my characters both to either side and now they've got to make choices of what they're going to do. I absolutely love this setup and I think that this one is going to be a ton of fun once I actually get to play a game on it. The next one was one that I wasn't sure was going to work, but I'm really glad that it did. So this is one that I'm calling the city on a hill. And the way that I made it was by stacking up my city boards up the table and the further away from the front you go, the higher the pieces get. So it implies this city is built up into a hill. This has all kinds of cool elevation changes to it and that's gonna add a lot of fun stuff in the game. Really, really excited about this one. Again, very different than the canal board, whereas this one has all kinds of elevation that really will challenge the type of gameplay that happens on it. And last, but certainly not least, I'm calling this one the full send, the full tilt, the big kahuna. This is the whole thing. I set this one up solely because I wanted to see if I had enough city terrain to fill the whole thing out. Obviously, you know, making a project this big, I wanted it all sprawled out across the table and that's something that I'm certainly really, really excited about. So definitely getting to set this up and seeing every little nook and cranny of these boards come to life is what it's all about for me. So with that said, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this series as much as I enjoyed making it. This thing took me a month, over a month, I guess, of crafting. All of my crafting time was dumped into doing this. Super, super worth it. Um, definitely glad that I did, but I will be honest, I'm glad that it's over. And we're going to move on to some maybe smaller, more manageable projects for the near future. Something that I may talk about in the future is storage for this thing, because I still have no idea where I'm going to store it, but that is neither here nor there. So thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Definitely, if you like this video, leave me a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. That helps the channel out a lot, and it costs you absolutely nothing. Share this video with a friend that you think would enjoy it. That's the number one way that you can help out a small YouTube channel. Um, but other than that, until next week, I'll be seeing you. It's done! I'm so excited. All right.